ants go marching one by one, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching two by two, hoorah, hoorah. Let's see, Let's see, Ant Man's on the shirt somewhere. Ha! Ah. There he is, and he's alive. <laughs> he ain't dead yet. Hey everyone, welcome to Disney Dude, the first ever Marvel episode of Disney Dude. Yay! So, the last Marvel movie was dark. But now, this movie looks all fun and happy, and it's gonna be funny. Just to cheer you up after Infinity War. Made you all go, Not Star Lord! Not Spoiler! Not Black Panther! So anyway, uh... The first Ant-Man movie was a pretty good movie. <laughs> there was an after credit scene with good old basically revealing that there's no way to be the old wasp. And now three years later we're getting the wasp. No. The Ant-Man... No. Ant-Man was a fun movie, and I enjoyed it. And now, comes the sequel, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Who, which you guys may recall me doing a little trailer reaction for. Go marching one by one, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching two by two, hoorah, hoorah. So far, the movie looks really fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. And, and apparently, and looks like this film will take place immediately after Civil War. Thing, thing, and looks like this film is gonna take place immediately after Civil War. So, yeah, and, and it looks like the equivalent of the giant Thomas the Tank Engine from the first film will be the giant Hello Kitty Pez dispenser. I'm like, that's amazing. So yeah, this movie's gonna be fun. See you when I see ya. So apparently I was wrong. This actually takes place either during Infinity War or during Ragnarok, I like to think it takes place during Infinity War. So, speaking of Infinity War, if you were all <laughs> at the end of the movie, then don't worry, this movie is pretty fun. And it is the fun Marvel movie that we need right now. So, what's the story? Hold on. I'm gonna call no or text no real quick and see if he's seen the movie. Have you seen Ant-Man and the 
wasp get so yeah so it was good yeah uh the story um so scott is under house arrest but before his house arrest was over, Hope and Hope from the last movie, along with Hank Pym, her father, who was the original Ant Man, decided to take Scott to help so that they so that he can help them bring back Pym's wife. Meanwhile, this little disappearing ghost girl well it trying to steal the the lab, which can shrink down, and using a remote, to cure her illness. Well, not really her illness, but all of her cells are like screwed up, and she's like <laughs> able to walk through walls and crap. And I don't know. she doesn't want that. If and if. That stop, or should I say, if it continues to happen, then she's going to be proud dead. So, all that while these business guys are willing to, like, you know, shut down the lab. All while the law is basically trying to get Scott not to see if he's still in his house because of the house arrest stuff. So, I like the comedy in this movie. It's this movie is pretty funny. Uh, you know, uh, Scott's ex-con friends are back, and they're pretty funny. Especially the one that goes, "Oh yeah, we gotta do this thing." <laughs> I like how it acknowledges the, the, you know, probably one of my favorite jokes in the movie is that. Hey, you wanna go do some crap with Captain America? I remember that. Uh, with Scott and Hope and I. So. Yeah. Hey. I really enjoy the action scenes. Uh, it has the shrinking in the fir from the first movie and the doing stuff big in from Civil War and. Yeah, that's really cool. And so. Yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, what else? So, yeah. I really like how the characters are basically like. The Hulk is like. No, what if, what if my mom doesn't even want me? What if she doesn't remember me? But Scott, what? Like, Scott said to her, "Look, when I was in jail, I the only thing I could think of was my daughter. So, besides, my wife sucks, or my ex-wife sucks. So, so after this movie, we gonna make some love, okay? <laughs> no, he didn't say that. So, it's a Mountain Dew." A doop -a doop to a Mountain Dew. And Bat and Superman, Batman, Public Enemy. I just got this at a Dollar General, so. It's nice. It's true. When it comes to DVDs, Dollar Stores have some pretty good, good some pretty good crap. So. Anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Hank Pym. He's not. I, I enjoy him. I like how he's pretty much determined to get his wife back. Hank Pym. Who's stuck in the. Well. Uh, something realm. I forgot the name. But it was also in the first film. So. And. Okay. I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna put the spoiler warning right here, so... Spoilers ahead. SPOILERS! Alright, so 
Kim's wife is played by Michelle Pfeiffer, who I only know for being on an episode of The Muppet Show. Yeah! Or should I say, yeah! Anyway, well, fuck, no, it never has to be my text. And, you know, I like her character, and. Again. I know, this is a short review, but. Overall, this is just a fun movie. But. Then comes the ending. My god. Or should I say the after credit scene? Well, before I mention the after credit scene, I I really like how, like, they like, Pim and Hulk have basically, like, shrunk in a bunch of real cars and just put them in, like, a Hot Wheels carrier thing. <laughs> also, the... Hello Kitty Pez Dispenser thing. Like, you just got pens, son! <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. Th that's amazing. So, yeah, the after credits scene. Do I do some poor? They, okay, they're trying to get a care for the girl who keeps, like, and then, like, walk through walls and stuff, and, you know, like, Pim, Hope, and Pim's wife, oh, and, or, Michelle Pfeiffer just, with her to dust, just like how, like, just like with Star-Lord, Black Panther, Spider-Man, what, and Bucky, and, and, he, and, like, Doctor Strange and all those other guys at the end of Infinity War. I'm pretty sure everyone in the theater was like, Ah, come on, man! Too soon! Too soon! It's been, it's been over two months since Infinity War, but too soon, man! Too soon! Let's hope the after credit scene for Captain Marvel isn't like that. It most likely will be. I mean, but, yeah, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. So, next time on Disney Do, we are going to be having something that is not a recent movie. What will it be? Well, you're going to have to find out. What? What? And yes, the Super Mario Brothers movie is a Disney movie. Look it up.